Hi and welcome to Pelvic Exercises, I'm Michelle Kenway. Today is the second video in our series on safe abdominal exercises following your hysterectomy surgery. Remember in our first video I talked to you about the importance of getting your gynaecologist's approval to be doing some gentle exercise following your surgery before commencing this, um, these exercises. It's also important to remember that these exercises do not cause you any abdominal discomfort or vaginal discomfort. And these exercises are normally safe for most women to commence approximately six weeks following their surgery. These types of fitball exercises that I'm going to be teaching you today are great to improve your abdominal or corset muscle control. These muscles will support your abdomen, support your internal wound, support your spine, and these muscles should also work with your pelvic floor muscles. So, do you remember how I taught you how to use these abdominal muscles and how to find them in our first video? If you haven't seen that video, I'll just review the technique to actually finding those muscles. Remember the importance of addressing your posture first of all. So, if you're using a fit ball or a chair, these exercises can also be done in a chair. Sit yourself nice and tall so that your uh, feet are about hip width apart, knees slightly apart, your chest is lifted, your spine is nice and tall, and the crown of your head is lifted towards the ceiling. So that's your posture forward on, and if you look at me from side sitting, that's my posture there. In that position, my deep abdominal muscles are going to work best. So let's start with a basic seated exercise. Remember using your second, third fingers, feeling inside your pelvic bone, so there your pelvic bones on the side there, slide off the inside of those and feel your lower abdominal wall. That area should just very, very gently draw in towards your spine, just a little bit. So you should feel just a little bit of tension develop under those fingers when you're doing this exercise correctly. Remember this is a very gentle contraction of your lower abdominal wall. It's not a strong indraw. So we don't want these upper abdominal muscles working. We want the lower abdominal muscles contracting just gently. So here we go, sitting yourself nice and tall on your chair, on your ball, chest is lifted, spine's nice and tall, crown of your head towards the ceiling, and very, very gently lift in, draw in those lower abdominal muscles, contract and breathe and hold for one and two, keep breathing, three, four, five, six, keep holding it, seven, eight, nine, ten, relax the muscles down and rest. As I said previously, there should be no discomfort through your abdomen and you're just feeling a gentle tightening of that lower abdominal wall to activate these muscles. Now, to increase the challenge to that area, to make these muscles work a little bit harder, what I want you to do is take your feet a little bit closer together. The muscles, core muscles have to work harder when you narrow the base of support or narrow your feet closer together. Once again, sitting nice and tall, you've got a small inward curve in your low back, chest is lifted, shoulders are back and down. Let's start with some abdominal reaching and some arm reaching for our abdominal muscles. So we're going to reach out and back. Slow and steady, reaching out and back. Now, can you gently contract your abdominal muscles at the same time, reaching out and back? Keep breathing. Tummy muscles are on gently. That's that lower abdominal wall. Still contracted and back and reach it out and back. One more time, reaching out and back and relax. Now that's a lot harder than what it looks, isn't it? To contract those abdominal muscles as you're holding your posture and moving your arms. Let's try that one more time. So, knees slightly apart, chest is lifted, shoulders are back and down. Very, very gentle indraw of your lower abdominal wall. And let's start to reach out and back and out. You can increase the challenge there by doing one arm at a time. So one arm, keep the ball really stable. Don't let it move a millimetre. Out and back and out and back. Couple more, out and back. One more time, out and back and have a rest. Roll out your shoulders, forward, back and around. Relax through your shoulder girdle, forward, up and around. And let's make things, let's progress our exercises a little bit more. We're going to start to move our legs now while seated on the ball, again challenging our core muscles to work a little bit harder. This next exercise is called a heel dig exercise and this is how it goes. When you look at the exercise, it's taking your foot out and back and out and back. But we're going to do some specific postural things to increase the challenge to our exercises and make our tummy muscles work better. First of all, I want you to 
lift your chest, small inward curve in your back, shoulders are back and down, crown of your head is towards the ceiling. Bring your arms down, if you're just starting off you can hold onto the ball with your hands, a finger spread, if you're going to increase the challenge, maybe two fingers either side of the ball. Perhaps if you're just beginning today, palms out on the side of the ball, shoulders are back and down. And let's start that now with a slow, steady heel dig with our tummy muscles gently activated. So very gentle indraw of your lower abdominal wall and take one leg out, slow and steady. Other leg out, slow and steady. Try and control your pelvis from moving. Don't let your hips move around the ball. Don't let the ball move at all. Keep things stable, stay tall on the ball. Out and back and out and back. Couple more. Out and back and out and back and roll out your shoulders. How did you go with that? Again, that's much harder than it looks. Quite challenging work when you're using your abdominal muscles correctly. All right, let's go into a third level of progression. So we've talked about so far doing our arm reaches. We've done our leg extensions into our heel digs. We're going to do a third exercise called a knee lift. And again, this is a little bit more difficult than the last two exercises, just a little bit more challenging for the abdominal muscles and pelvic control. Shoulders are back and down, chest is lifted. Draw in your abdominal wall just gently. And let's just try for a small knee lift and down other side knee lift and down now keep your hips really stable pelvis stable and down try and look straight ahead chins tucked lift and down and lift and down now if you're finding that difficult changing from side to side you can try repeating the lift on one side for example you can start with the right leg and lift that leg and lower it down Stay tall, keep your abdominal muscles gently activated. Lift and down and again. Lift and down. Let's try the other leg. Lift and down. Stay tall, lift and down. Keep the abdominal muscles on gently. Lift and down one more time. Lift and down. And roll out your shoulders and you can roll the ball around in some nice big circles as well. Pelvis right around and down. Loosen up your back. So, how did you go with those exercises today? They're all exercises designed to improve your abdominal muscle control. Much safer for you to be doing than any sit-up type exercise, which, which can actually put pressure downwards on your pelvic floor, which is the type of exercise you want to avoid following a hysterectomy. So these are safe exercises you can do. First of all, first exercise being just a gentle abdominal indraw, and you can practice that when you're sitting. You can also practice that when you're standing and even when you're walking around. The second exercise we did was an arm extension, again using our, or reaching exercise, using our abdominal muscles. Then we went into our heel dig exercise with our leg out in front, and our final progression was our knee lift. Now you might like to start those with just doing a couple of those on your first day, one or two, and see how you feel. Again, always monitoring your symptoms, making sure that you don't feel any abdominal discomfort, no pelvic discomfort during or after your exercise, in which case you stop the exercises. Well, that's it from me today. I've enjoyed exercising with you today and here's to your healthy pelvic floor and I really look forward to exercising with you again soon.